Welcome! Today I would like to demonstrate how to do a basic startup and operation of the G100 using the keypad. Since the keypad is a crucial component in programming the G100, you must know the ins and outs of the keypad and understand the display window on the keypad to easily use the G100. Therefore, we will first learn the basic operation method of the keypad and learn how the parameters are configured in the G100. And we will continue with the procedure to introduce the basic test operation methods. First, let's start with the configuration of the parameters of the G100 in order. There are 11 parameter groups of the G100 and you can move between groups by pressing the Mode Shift key located at the bottom left of the keypad. When power is applied to the G100 and after pressing the Mode Shift key, the first parameter group is the driving group. And pressing the Mode Shift key in order, you will see the drive group that configures parameters for basic operation. These include jog operation, motor capacity evaluation, torque boost, and other keypad-related parameters. The basic functional group that configures basic operation parameters. These parameters include motor parameters and multi-step frequency parameters. The advanced function group that configures acceleration or deceleration patterns, frequency limits, etc. The control function group that configures sensorless vector-related features. The input function group that configures input terminal-related features including digital multifunctional inputs and analog inputs. The output function group that configures output terminal related features, such as relays and analog outputs. The communication function group that configures communication features for RS-485 or other communication options. The application function group that configures functions related to PID control. The protection function group that configures motor and inverter protection features. And lastly, you will find the secondary motor function group. For reference, the secondary motor group appears on the keypad only when one of the multifunction input terminals has been set to 26. You can move to the first DR drive group by pressing the Mode Shift key once more in the last sequence group. Next, we will see how to move between codes within a group. Use the up and down arrow keys to move between codes. If you press the up arrow key, you can move to the next parameter. Press the down arrow key to move to the previous parameter. Now, let's see how to program the parameters. First, let's adjust the target frequency. Press the Enter key on the initial screen to enter the Edit screen. When entering the Edit screen, the leftmost digit blinks and the set LED light lights up. You can change the number of blinking digits using the up and down arrow keys. If you want to edit another digit, you can move the cursor by pressing the Mode Shift key. In this example, we will set the target frequency to 60 Hz. First, move the cursor of the place of 10 using the Mode Shift key, and then change the number to 6 using the up and down arrow keys. After adjusting the number, press the Enter key once to blink the entire number. At this time, pressing the Enter key once more completes the value change, and the set LED light goes out. Next, let's change the acceleration time to 10 seconds. Press the up arrow key once to move to the parameter to change the acceleration time. 
then press the Enter key to enter the edit screen. Change the frequency to 10 using the Mode Shift key and the up and down arrow keys, as in the previous method of setting the frequency. Press the Enter key twice to save the value. Now, you're done programming the drive to ramp up in 10 seconds to 60 Hz. Next, set the deceleration time to 10 seconds in the same way. Press the up arrow key once to move to the parameter to change the deceleration time. Then, press Enter once to enter the edit screen. Change the value to 10 using the Mode Shift key and up and down arrow keys as in the previous method for setting the frequency. Then press the Enter key twice to change the value. It is now set to decelerate from a maximum frequency of 60 Hz to 0 Hz in 10 seconds. Next, let's select the Drive Command Source. Use the up and down arrow keys to move to the Drive parameter. From here, press the Enter key to enter the Edit screen. When entering the Edit screen, the previously set value blinks. Here, the meaning of numbers are shown in the table on the screen. If it is 1, it is set to FXRX1, which means the operation signal input through the multifunction digital input. In this example, we will change to 0 to operate with the keypad. Likewise, press the Enter key twice to save the edited content. Next, move to the Frequency parameter by pressing the up arrow key once to edit the Frequency reference source. Press the Enter key to confirm the value. When entering the Edit screen, the previously set value blinks. Here, the meanings of numbers are as shown in the table on the screen. That is, if it is 0, it means that it is set to keypad 1 and it means you can set the frequency by the keypad on the initial screen. We will not change this parameter. You can return to the initial screen at once by pressing any two keys at the same time after pressing the Enter key to exit. Now, let's run the G100. If you press the Run key, the Forward and Run LEDs will light up and the 7 segment window will display the output frequency in Hertz. If you don't change the acceleration mode, it will accelerate according to the acceleration time set by default. So, you will reach the maximum frequency and the target frequency of 60 Hertz in just 10 seconds, which is the acceleration time set earlier. To stop, press the Stop Reset button. If the deceleration time is set to 10 seconds, it will stop in 10 seconds. Next, we will test by changing the frequency reference source. Use the up and down arrow keys to move to the frequency parameter and change the value to 4. 4 indicates the built-in potentiometer on the G100 keypad. When set to 4, the target frequency can be adjusted with the built-in potentiometer. Return to the initial screen and adjust the built-in potentiometer to observe the frequency change. When the potentiometer points to minimum, it displays 0 Hz, and when it points to maximum, the maximum frequency is 60 Hz. Once the frequency is set, Press the Run key to operate. The target frequency can be adjusted by the potentiometer while operating. We have learned about the basic operation of the G100 and basic test operation methods. Thank you.